strange for me because I don't really travel that much and especially don't travel for my brand. Most of the traveling I do is for vacation, maybe once a year, and I never travel for my 9 to 5 job and it's crazy that I'm now traveling for Monica's, my side hustle. It's wild. Still can't believe it. I'm here for a pop-up. That's tomorrow, Saturday. I've only done two pop-ups, both of them in Hoboken, New Jersey, which I vlogged and you can check out the process. So that in whichever corner that YouTube puts the little suggestion box. But this time I'm doing a pop-up in Los Angeles. It's with a sustainable event planning brand, I think is how I can describe them, called Adelinda. They're really cool, love everything they're doing, and I'm excited to be part of this pop-up event open bar situation. I am now at the JW Marriott in downtown LA. I love Marriott's. It's really nice. There were a lot of people downstairs. I think there's some sort of convention going on. Anyway, this is going to be sort of a different vlog than what I've been doing because I don't really do travel things. I feel like the key to a good hotel is numerous mirrors and big mirrors. That's what makes it good. First things first, I'm going to the fashion district to go get some ribbon because as I said, I'm here for a little pop-up shop. I did not finish the items that <laughs> are included in the pop-up shop, so I'm going to finish them now. I did all the sewing and the serging and all of that fancy stuff that needs to be done, but I didn't add all the finishing touches, so I need to cut off all the loose threads. I need to add some ribbon to the back of the corsets and tie them and you know, make them look all nice and iron them out and steam them, whatever. So I think I'm gonna do, oh my gosh. The back to this chair is really far from where I thought it was. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some strawberries, unpack a bit, and then we're going to the fashion district. Fashion district was interesting. I feel like I didn't actually say my true thoughts on it. Oh no, look at that. Because I was walking and vlogging and I don't do that. I'm very much a vlog at home kind of person. It was very much Canal Street. Like everyone was selling things on the streets. Very outdoorsy, very like, they're trying to get you to come into the door. Everything was clearly not sustainable. <laughs> um, 
they were selling fabric by the yard at like a dollar a yard or two dollars a yard and that's impossible basically unless if you're getting it from unsustainable places there was this one store that i can't recall the name of i loved they had all spandex basically all stretch like four-way stretch fabric and i'm looking to make my own bathing suits so that would be perfect they had cool prints they also had really nice matte spandex i also passed by the theater district which i didn't really know was a thing i, I like kind of knew that broadway was in places other than new york city but i think i'll go check it out tomorrow as well it's all walking distance from my hotel uh people don't jaywalk here which is really fun <laughs> because i'm like crossing the street when everyone else is like literally on the curb like far away from the curb actually they're like really deep onto the sidewalk i don't know if it's super illegal here to jaywalk or if that's just like not the culture but people were like safely on the sidewalk until the walk side came on and i was like y'all are wasting time Here's all the stuff. This is actually what I'm going to be wearing. This is a change of plans. This is from the winter collection. This is just the carry corset and I needed to buy some ribbon for the back so I did that today in LA. I'm reusing this from, oh my gosh, I really need to lint roll and like cut off the threads on the edges because I did not do that yet. But this is from my last pop-up in Hoboken. It's also going to be part of a zero waste collection that I'm putting out soon. This is the new item. I think um, I named it on social media and I can't recall what I named it, but it's really cute. It's very summery, springy, and I think it's like the best course that I've made so far. I also got this ribbon in LA today. I'm gonna fix this up and make it look better, but yeah, I have this. I added the little tags, as you saw. Yeah, so I have two of these. I also have this one that matches the tote bags from the last pop-up. Uh, I only made one of these because, um, first of all, I didn't have time. Second, I wasn't sure if I would have enough fabric for a second. So I also got ribbon for these here. I just didn't put them on yet. This is what I originally planned on wearing myself to the pop-up, but... I decided I wanted to sell it. This is also going to be part of the next collection. Again, I got ribbon for this. This is the same. And I have these three shirt tops that are actually part of last year's summer collection. I had this at the Arts and Music, Arts and Music pop up, um, but these three didn't sell, so I have these. And this is the top that goes with that skirt that I showed you, also part of the Zero Waste collection that is coming out. I thought I would throw in some tote bags as well. So I just have these two again from the last pop up in Hoboken. And this fabric is from my very first collection I ever put out for Monica's. Well, it was called Monica's DIYs at the time. I don't know, I just really love the fabric, but the dress that I made didn't completely sell out. So I did have leftover fabric. So I made a few of these along with that corset that you saw. The model is going to be wearing this green corset, which I did show you, and it was the first thing I finished. So I'm very happy that this was over and done with very early. I did not feel stressed about this pop-up solely because I knew that I had an outfit for the model to wear. Um, I also made the skirt, which is really not the best thing I've ever made, but it's representative of what my brand is, has like the tiers. I did not hem the bottoms accidentally, so hopefully that's not an issue. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm gonna put the ribbon on all those corsets right now. I'm also going to cut off all the loose threads and lint roll and iron everything because I want them to be as presentable as possible. I'm really excited for tonight. I hope it goes well. I hope a good amount of people come and I hope some of my things sell. Whatever is left over from this collection um, or this little, you know, grouping of clothes <laughs> is going to be sold at a sustainable like convention, I think it is. It's called Refashion Week and Adelinda, the brand I'm working with, they're going and they're going to have a booth at the convention and they asked me to give them a few pieces to sell at Refashion Week. So whatever doesn't sell here, I'm just going to let them sell at Refashion Week.
good to go. I'm wearing the carry corset along with just some black trousers and a little sweater in case it gets cold. I ratchetly packed all the clothes in this Whole Foods bag because I don't actually have a way to carry everything. I also have some business cards and um, discount cards in there. This was overall so much stressful, <laughs> but I'm really happy that I'm doing it. I hope it goes well. I hope a good amount of people come. I don't know if people will be coming specifically for me. I don't think I actually have a big audience or any audience in LA or California in general. Hopefully people who do come for other designers or just come because like they heard about the event, hopefully they end up liking my stuff. This whole thing is just for more exposure, I guess, and to put my name out there and to like make connections with other designers. Yeah, and this is actually just the pre-event for what's coming in April, which is the runway show in Joshua Tree. So this is just like a warm up, basically. <laughs> I am kind of nervous if you couldn't tell. All right, goodbye for now. See you there. Had such a great time at the Adelinda pop-up event. I met so many cool people. One of the other designers, Natalia, was there, and then I met her friend Lexi. And there were a whole bunch of people who just showed up because they wanted to come to the event, and I met all of them. Green Bar was the bar that co-sponsored the event, and the owner of Green Bar came, and he was so cool. All the people at Adelinda were really cool. Anyway, the event was super nice. It was in this little like studio, like art exhibit kind of place. We had like a little pop-up area, which you guys have seen. I spent most of my time upstairs in the area where all the people were and all the models were like lined up against the wall and The girl who wore my dress looks so great in the corset and the skirt. Everything just looks so good I can't really believe that it happened. I can't really believe that I was super social and like met people and talked to people I don't really do that. So I think this is where I'm ending this vlog I am flying out tomorrow early in the morning, so I will start a new one with whatever my next project is. Probably another pop-up video because I am doing a pop-up this coming weekend. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for being here. Today.